Hello everyone, my name is Rohan Zambar and I'm your ASB treasurer for the 2019-2020 school year and part of my job is to run ASB elections, so here I am. Uh, please make sure that you listen to the entire video um, and go through the entire packet with me because it contains a lot of new information about how we're running elections this year since we are in a different situation from past years with the shelter in place and hopefully you're doing social distancing as well. So there's a lot of new information so please bear with me and in this video I'll just go over what the packet entails and some other details that are not necessarily included in the packet but are still good to know. So yeah without further ado let's start. So now the election schedule. Congratulations, you've taken your first step to applying for a position within the leadership team. Please read through the entire packet thoroughly so that you understand the expectations, the roles of the position you're applying for, and how to fill out the forms accordingly. So on Monday, March 23rd, is when this packet and this video will be available for the entire student body. And so if you want to run, please go through this packet and uh, so you understand what you're getting into. Please read this video for the same purpose. And then once you're done with doing both of those things, fill out the Google form right here that's linked right here. And this will basically collect all your basic information, your name, your grade, uh, contact information, and what position you're running for. And it also includes a little comprehension test about the actual uh, packet itself, just so that we know that you have read through the packet and that you are aware of what you're getting into if you do get elected for, um, for ASB. Also, there are new, so as I said, there are new rules for campaigning. So you also, it also helps us test if you uh, understand what campaigning is going to look like. Also, we have something new called town hall interviews because of the lack of uh, physical interaction that we can have with our other students. So I'll go into more detail about that in just a second. Then on Wednesday, March 25th, this Google form will be closed at 1 p.m., which is the beginning of fifth period. So if you want to run, you must fill it out before then and late submissions will not be accepted. So please just do it as soon as you can. Uh, and then you will receive a confirmation email uh, from me either right after you submit the um, form whenever that is or latest by the end of fifth period and that'll also include um, a slot for the top town hall interviews and um, just confirming that you are running for a certain position and that's the position that you've applied for and then so you will be going through these uh, so then we'll we'll have the town hall interviews. And for the town hall interviews, you will be either interviewed by myself or another current ASB officer. And you will be asked to answer two questions of which you have 30 seconds to answer each question. And those interviews will take place either on Wednesday, March 25th, or on Thursday, March 26th. And so please uh, be, be prepared to answer them. And they might be any questions. So um, yeah, just be prepared. And then voting will take place from Friday through Monday, March 27th through March 30th. And it'll start at 10 a.m. On, uh, on Friday and end at 3 p.m. on Monday. And then at 4 p.m. on Monday, March 30th, we'll be releasing the results via school loop email. So that's the schedule. Uh, next, campaign rules. So since we can't have anybody, of course, interacting with each other for um, the sake of mitigating coronavirus, we will be doing all the campaigning for you. So you please make sure that you observe the following rules so that campaigning can go as smoothly as possible. So in the Google form that, so this is the same Google form as above, you need to attach one photo of yourself that you'd be willing for us to post on our all uh, ASB affiliated social media accounts. So that includes the Homestead ASB accounts and the classes of 2021, 2022, and 2023. And you need to include a short paragraph of yourself that's about 150 words that would act like an Instagram caption. So that because we're going to be posting your picture with that caption and that's the only social media um, way that you'll be able to get your message out. So please make sure that you spend time on it and you make sure it is it includes everything you want it to include. In addition, you have to create a one page long Google document that includes your name, grade, uh, position you're running for, campaign goals and other relevant information. And this will all be made available to the student body so that they have a more tangible um, means of finding out why you're running and what you're running for. Um, I will be con compiling all of these documents and putting, uh, making them available for the student body, but you yourself are not allowed to distribute this link, to, the link to your document to anybody. Only the class social media accounts and the Homestead ASB accounts are allowed to do so uh, because we just want to make sure that social media is not a factor into whether or not you win this elections because it's a little bit unfair because uh, you could potentially be gaining an advantage with just a simple click of a button. So just to reiterate, no outside campaigning is allowed at all. So no social media, no texting, no calling. And if you're found out for any of those, you will be disqualified immediately from the elections. And so that's how campaigning will work. 
Now for the more meaty part of this uh, video, the position specific duties. So there are seven positions that you can run for in this ASV elections, which is president, vice president, treasurer, secretary, social manager, rally commissioner, and IDC commissioner. And all of these have specific uh, position specific duties, but just note that all of them, they could all be subject to change depending on the discretion of the leadership teacher, um, seeing how the leadership class works next year and if there are any changes. So please make sure to maintain flexibility when you are running for the positions. So let's start with ASV president. ASV president basically has to support every single position in leadership and planning their activities and fulfilling their position specific roles. They have to delegate tasks for the class, work closely with administration on all levels to discuss events, issues, and solutions, support the leadership team, and uh, create committees for leadership to implement things beyond just position specific duties and supporting IDC commissioners as another IDC commissioner, him or herself. And so as president, you are the main support system for every single person in leadership. And you're basically acting as a second or third person for everybody in ASV, uh, a second or third officer. Next, oh, and another thing to note is that if you want to run for ASV president, you must have one year of experience in leadership in the past uh, years. If you do not, then you're not able to run for ASV president. Next is ASV Vice President, and as you see, the same criteria applies where you need to have been in leadership for at least one year in order to run for this position. And this position manages all of the about 70 clubs that we have on campus and provides them with the resources that they need to be successful. They lead the executive meetings to keep club and leadership, um, uh, to keep club leadership up to date with what's happening in leadership. And so they're a key, key communication uh, system between clubs and ASV and administration. And they facilitate the creation of and interviewing of new clubs and they plan lots of events for clubs including club fair club training and club roundup booths so asv vice president is a very time intensive role because you are doing a lot for the clubs but you will be working with other club commissioners as well to take off a little bit of the load but you have a very very important position because clubs as you hopefully know are a very cornerstone co cornerstone part of um, the homestead campus Next is the ASV Treasurer, which is my position this year. And as ASV Treasurer, your job is to approve all checks, requests, and a reimbursement forms for all large expenditures of non-campus organizations like clubs or sports teams or uh, ASV groups. You have to create the ASV budget along with the financial advisor, Ms. Murag. Uh, organize and facilitate freshman class elections, ASV elections, and general elections, just like this one. Uh, work with the AP secretary to facilitate communication between administration and the school and organize daily bulletin announcements. So in the past, the last two were under the communications commissioner, but this year we are adding them to the ASB treasurer's position. And next is the ASB secretary. And so as ASB secretary, you run the Legislative Representative Council. So this is a group of students who provides a lot of useful and valuable feedback for ASB on school events. And they basically act as a liaison between ASB and the students. And this is extremely crucial because we in ASB get a lot of important information from our legislative reps. Then you also have to take student council meeting minutes to ensure, the seam ensure seamless passages of clubs and non-on-campus uh, organization events. Uh, you have to maintain the ASB calendar and make sure that all ASB tasks are being completed on time. Work with the AP secretary to facilitate communication between administration and the school and maintain ASB supplies and materials on a regular basis just so that we're able to carry out everything that we want to throughout the year. <clears throat> Next is ASB social manager, which is a very, very important role um, in ASB because they plan all the major events that we have throughout the year. Um, one thing to mention is that this year we're changing it up and so that in order to run for ASB social manager, you do have to have one year of experience in leadership in the past because there is so much that constantly goes on with their position. So they have to plan the, plan the main three events throughout the year, homecoming, BOTC, and the yearbook party. And for homecoming, that involves providing class officers with the information and resources necessary to create all the homecoming materials, creating detailed homecoming week schedules, and a schedule prior to homecoming in order to make sure that all your tasks are being completed on time by yourself and other ASB officers, facilitating organizing homecoming court, communicating with administration to receive approval for all events, communicating with staff to inc include staff involvement in homecoming, Homecoming and contact the city to organize the homecoming parade and this just scratched the surface for what's um, what is included in homecoming because there's so many moving parts that you will be needing to maintain at all times 
Then you also have to plan BOTC, which unfortunately we were not able to have this year. But BOTC for BOTC, you have to facilitate and organize all BOC, BOTC teams. So that's dance, football, cheer, and rally uh, for all the grades. Create de detailed BOTC week schedules. Organize on-campus uh, on decorations throughout the weeks. Communicate with rally commissioners to plan out the point systems for the rally games. Um, and then also plan for all lunch and brunch time events. So that's performances, football games, and whatnot. Again, this is as much work as homecoming and there's a lot of preparation required. And lastly, you have to plan the yearbook party. And so that includes communicating with year yearbook for the distribution of yearbooks, contacting out of school, outside of school vendors to provide food and entertainment for students, coordinating with class officers and ASB to make sure that the event runs smoothly. One thing to note about ASB social manager is that this is one of the positions that might be subject to change in the coming year because there are going to be a lot of changes, especially with coronavirus and other factors. So when you're running for this position, please be flexible with your expectations and understand that uh, you might not be doing exactly what's listed here um, in your position next year. Next is ASB Rally Commissioner, and basically their job is to plan and execute all five rallies throughout the year. So that's Aloha, Homecoming, Blacklight Rally, BOTC, and Senior Farewell Rallies. Um, and so you have to write the rally scripts and find MCs, host tryouts for and choose performance for respective rallies, communicate with admin and ASB for all student performers and release lists, and coordinate and delegate decorations with class officers, ASB, and other interested parties like AVID in the past or NHS or um, anybody who's interested basically. And then we have ASB IDC, which, is, which stands for Interdistrict Council Commissioner. And so IDC is a very important role because they are the main communication communicators between us as Homestead and the uh, district itself. So they attend biweekly meetings with all the IDC commissioners from the other five, from the other four schools in the district, which make up FUHSD. And that includes Fremont, Monta Vista, Cupertino, Limbrook, and Homestead. And they, so they attend biweekly meetings for that. They have to plan all IDC exchanges where students can go from one school to another for a day. And usually it's a day with the rally, so it's super fun. They get to plan the interdistrict events like IDC Fantastics, which is a district-wide rally, which is super fun. And they get to discuss important school-wide issues. So they're the people who talk about maybe if there's too much academic stress on the district-wide level, how can they make a change in like contacting teachers to mitigate that stress? Uh, that's just an example. They also approve various charities that on-campus groups would like to donate to, and they act as a liaison between the schools and the district-wide council that I mentioned before. So for the last three positions that I mentioned, ASB Social Manager, ASB Rally Commissioner, and IDC Commissioner, all three of them will be working in pairs. However, only one will be elected in this cycle and the other will be an interview in uh, later in the year. And for your general ASB duties, you will have to, regardless of what position you are, serve as a liaison to a class during homecoming to assist with homecoming decorations and other class duties, assist class officers with their events and provide guidance, uh, participate in student council on a weekly basis. And the most important thing is to be spirited and participate in every single event hosted by leadership. Although this sounds like a lot of time commitment, it's super fun and you get to make a lot of great friends. And that's one of the reasons that I enjoy leadership so much. Once again, I just want to reiterate that for ASB social manager, ASB vice president, and for ASB president, you have to have one year of leadership experience in the past. But for ASB treasurer, ASB secretary, um, Rally Commissioner and IDC Commissioner, you do not have to have any prior experience. And now the last page is the terms of agreements. And so this is just basically expectations that you will be held to throughout the year next year. Um, and I won't go over it because they're pretty self-explanatory, but please make sure that you read through the entire thing. And there will be a section in the, uh, uh, in the quiz part of the Google form above that um, will talk about these, so please make sure you read through them. And it's super important that you um, fulfill all of these criteria. And yeah, so that is basically how elections are gonna look like this year, and this is the entire packet. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me uh, via Facebook Messenger or my uh, school email if you have any other questions. Once again, my name is Rohan Zambar. And I hope, I wish you guys good luck for elections. Thank you guys so much.